Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of Monday Makeup Chats. I'm so excited about these videos. They're essentially a get ready with me, but a little bit more personal and I kind of plan out topics I wanna to talk to you about, almost like I'm doing a podcast or something. That's what I'm picturing. So anyways, I explain it a little bit more as I'm starting to get ready because this week's only episode two. Every Monday, it'll just be whatever makeup I'm getting ready to wear for the day, so it's gonna change. It might be a 10 minute mom makeup. It might be a really dark smoky eye. Who knows, whatever I'm feeling that day. So I hope you enjoy these and let's get going. Good morning. Good morning. I'm gonna light an incense. I love these incense. They're from World Market. I'm using a ring light, so I'm so sorry because when I move in and out from the camera, it might be weird, but I'm combating that sunshine outside that we're having, which is beautiful. Anyways, these are from World Market and they are chakra incense. So this is the third eye chakra. I see. I have a mirror right here. I'm in my bathroom, so I'm going to be looking back and forth getting ready. Hopefully this lighting is okay. I'm testing it out. I just thought this would be nice because I can stand up and move around because when I am sitting at my coffee table in my beauty room, I have to sit on my knees a lot for like the camera angles. Anyways, and my legs were going numb so bad next uh, last time. I went to Sephora and MAC the other day. MAC was ending their Back to Max where you donate six empties and get a free lipstick, so I had to go trade in. But I got a new foundation from Sephora that same day. So this is called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation from Laura Mercier. My friend Cassie was like, you would love this. You need to try it. I got the color Soft Sand, I think. Yeah, 2C2 Soft Sand. Just washed my face and moisturized it before I took gold into daycare. So maybe I should spray. Like, I wish I had my Fix Plus up here. I'm going to spray some Morphe setting spray just so there's like some slip to my skin. So my friend said you have to put this on with a brush. She's like, you will not like it with a beauty blender. And so I'm gonna test it out and trust her. Gosh, the color match is good. Can't even barely see it, at least in real life. Sometimes stuff looks different on camera. I wanna talk real quick about my nose. So on the last, which as you can see, it's looking so much more clear right now. On the last video I showed you guys, if you missed it, I was like breaking out all over on my nose and feeling just like really stressed out and stuff. My friend Haley watches my videos, which is first of all, just so nice. And she wrote me, I like this foundation. It's very light and I feel like it's really good coverage. Um, she said, hey Shay, I'm watching your latest YouTube video. Big fan, which is so sweet. We used to work together at Mac. There's a rad book called You Can Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. She talks about the energetics, emotions of ailments we might have. She talks about your skin being a separation conflict. And she's talking in regards to how I said, like, Danny's been gone working a lot. Golden had started daycare. Here's what I found out about what she says about skin. I felt like I should share it with you. And it talks about, like, for example, having to put on a brave face when you feel awful or using makeup to artificially look healthy or cheerful when you're not well are masks. Society suggests we use these to suffocate what's really going on deep inside. Skin protects our individuality, it's a sense organ. The main skin conditions she notes are anxiety, fear, feeling threatened, old buried guck. So just yucky stuff you're keeping inside. I'm like, how wild is that? I was definitely feeling the feels and it was coming out in my skin and I said, I feel like it's all connected. That just shows it is. So now I gotta go look up that book that she's talking about. Okay, so as you saw, I used two pumps. I loved that. My friend Cassie is right. We will see how it wears, but that's my jam. So yeah, basically, I don't think I described it well, and these are obviously gonna flow as we do more Makeup Mondays, Makeup Chat Mondays, but last time I just was like, I just, I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know how to describe it. I didn't know how to start, so I just took messy action. If you don't know what taking messy action is, I talk about it in my How to Crush Your Goals video. It's a trick I learned about in my life coaching class that I took back in um, 2020. I was being coached, I wasn't coaching people or like learning to coach people. I get that question a lot. Like, were you learning to be a life coach? No, I was being coached. Anyway, sometimes when you have an idea and you overthink it and overthink it because it's not gonna be perfect, like I talked about with my vision board last time, you just have to start. And that's what I did with episode one. I just was like, throw up the camera, decide what you're gonna talk about and talk about it. If it seemed really choppy, I said the word like probably over a hundred times last video, so I cut it out. I almost thought of leaving it in and saying, this is a drinking game. Take a sip every time I say like, because it was that much. It was ridiculous. So I'm gonna try to not do that right now. How I said I took messy action. I just made the video on a Friday, posted it that Monday. I think I wanna start making them Mondays because they're Monday makeup chats, like actually filming them Mondays and then posting them the following Monday. Tell me if you 
even care what day I'm recording these. I just feel like that makes sense and that would make us feel more connected because it's like I actually am getting ready on a Monday. I work on Mondays, so I do have to get ready. So today's Tuesday, but I'm figuring I'll record today, post it next Monday, and then maybe next Monday record the following Mondays. Am I making sense? I feel like I'm just rambling. So if you guys don't know, YouTube shows me a ton of analytics. And I try not to really look at those because part of me doesn't really even care. Most of me doesn't really care. I do this for fun. But sometimes it is kind of hard when you watch it because you start getting in your head like, oh, I can see the point when people stop watching. Like, should I just not talk so much in the beginning about my own self? And so I've noticed over the years, my videos, I used to be more chatty and now I notice I just like cut stuff out and just get to the meat of the video which I think is important at times but I also feel that I like watching creators that I feel like I know and if I'm cutting out everything about my own personal life how do you get to know me so that's why I kind of want to make these videos just to actually I don't know if this is narcissistic but I want to just talk to you about my own life so you can get to know me and then if you don't care you don't have to watch the makeup chat Mondays <laughs> I don't know if I described it last week that way because I just was getting going. Okay, so here's my little notes of everything I wanna talk about today because I have to stay on track. The first thing I wanna tell you guys is how much better I have been feeling since last video. It was only a couple days ago, but you wanna know what I did? I downloaded the book, The Secret. I also got a Rare Beauty blush. I have been wanting to try these for so long. This is in the color Virtue, which I think is like a limited one. Usually cream blushes are pretty pigmented, so I'm gonna start here on my hand to make sure I don't go overboard. But I love blush, so see, it's pretty pigmented there. Let's go to the other side. So The Secret, oh girl. Hang on, let me make sure I don't look crazy. That is pretty and like very natural, that color. So the book, The Secret, is all about manifesting. I think it's a very controversial book. I think some people really love it and some people think it's a hoax or something, but I happen to really love it. And I think you, if you have been feeling down, should try it because it's just pointing out to me everything I've been doing is the reason I've been feeling bad because I've been calling more of it into my life by just complaining. And not that I think you shouldn't acknowledge how you're feeling and take a minute, but then move on, which is what I try to do. But sometimes you just need a reminder to like move on a little quicker maybe, I don't know. I swear since I have been practicing what the book teaches you to just like have great thoughts, I'm saying like again a lot, to have great thoughts, good thoughts, putting out positive vibes, and focusing on the things you want and just really trying to feel like you already have them. I've been doing that and I swear things have been happening. Like good things have, oh, I can't stop saying like, good things have been happening. And it's kind of wild and it just makes me believe in it even more. Everything is energy, which I already knew and I already believed that, but this reminder has been really good. So first thing, like click out of this video and download the audiobook and tell me what you think because game changer so i want to do like a bronzy glowy glittery liner i don't know how to explain it lala kent who's on um vanderpump she does it a lot she'll do a wing in the front half of her eye she does like a shimmery liner and it's so pretty so that's kind of what i want to try to do today i'm barely going to put any eyeshadow just kind of something ah there's something in my eye just kind of something to contour the crease just a little bit but i'm barely going to do any eyeshadow it's mainly going to be about the wing liner and the glitter so yeah i'm trying to think of an example i could tell you of something good that has happened but it's not anything major, it's just the energy has shifted. That's what I feel. I feel it feels more effortless for me to be in a good mood, which has not been the case. So that's really amazing. My nose has been getting better, my little rash. Things are happening. This is just a little MAC times nine. This is the amber one, I think. Yes, and it is an oldie goodie. Oldie and goodie. I'm just gonna throw a little inner corner glow. Okay, I'm gonna go first and use Dip Down, which I talked about recently in my MAC haul. It's just a chocolatey brown liner. I'm gonna add a wing and I'll be back because I don't think I can do this while I'm talking. So first what I did was just do the bottom lines. I have not done wing liners in a while. And then I'm gonna do like the front half of my liner with the shimmer. I still have to do bronzer and brows and stuff, so you know, forgive me for looking a little bit wild right now. I'm going in a weird order. It's hard to talk and do your makeup and concentrate and think ahead to the editing and how it's gonna flow. So sometimes I get a little overwhelmed making these videos. My internal temp on my 
camera got too hot again. This is a camera that's meant for vlogging, short little clips. It's not meant for sitting there filming a long ramble, Shaylee ramble video. I'm putting just a little powder under my eyes because I felt like when I turned the camera off and went and did my eyebrows while my camera was cooling down, the concealer was really uh, separating and I was getting a lot of lines. So maybe I need to set that e.l.f. stuff with actual loose powder versus that MAC emphasize that I did. So I threw some brow pomade in my brows from Anastasia and I'm gonna put brow gel later, but for right now, I want to bronze because I feel like I look so white and pale. Okay, so before my camera died, I was talking about one thing I like from that book, The Secret, is about your energy and how whatever you feel is you're, you're calling in. So if you're feeling grateful, you're gonna call in more gratefulness and happy vibes. I usually wear a bracelet that says grateful for like the last three years, but um, it kind of tarnished. So I just ordered a new one last night. I have to get a new one a couple times a year. I really like to practice gratefulness anyway. That's like something I always am trying to practice. So it's just being mindful <clears throat> about actually thinking about it every morning. So I've been trying to, before I get out of bed, think about some things I'm grateful for. So I thought I would share like three things with you guys that I'm grateful for. Without being too cheesy, I want us to all bring that energy. So please, 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 if you can, take the time to tell me something in the comments that you're grateful for. Tell me three things, tell me one, whatever you have time for. My daycare girl, her name is Tanya. She just sent me videos of G playing outside, which makes me so happy. Can you see that? Let me brighten it. You see, she's playing out by a jungle gym. A little cutie. Anyways, going back to grateful. I am grateful for G's daycare lady. Oh my gosh, she is so sweet. So when I very first started dropping her off, I thought it was going so well. Yay, every time I drop her off, she seems happy. And so it was very easy to leave her there and be in a good mood. I mean, it's only four hours, three days a week. So I was feeling good about it. And about a week in, Tanya told me, you know, she's really hard to set down. She's crying when I walk away all this stuff and it was just making me feel very terrible. Shouldn't feel terrible, I should feel good. Feelings are <laughs> feelings are manifestations. But I did because I was dropping her off and I just thought this is making this lady's morning so hard. She's having to carry my baby around while she's taking care of everyone else. But anyway, long story short, we've been working on it. Time has passed, she's had more time there and she's getting much better. And so now I don't drop her off and have a pit in my stomach of guilt that I'm making this lady's life hard every morning I drop my daughter off. So she is just so sweet. She sends me photos of G having a good time and it just, I am so grateful for them. I am so happy because I can have time to clean and make videos and do things like this. And of course work on my work days. So that is all amazing. So that's the first thing I'm grateful for is G being in daycare and it going well. Let me think of my next thing. I've been thinking about this a lot, so I feel like I have too many, so I'm deciding which one to share. I wanna say I'm thankful for the sunshine. I think it's supposed to start raining again in a couple days. And it's funny, because rain is my favorite weather. I love cloudy, rainy weather, but I do think it was affecting my mood a lot. Just rain, 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 because we were trapped in the house. I love to go on walks, and it was really hard to do that with my daughter. Like if it was just me, I definitely would go walk in the rain. In fact, yesterday we took a walk and it sprinkled on us. Like if it's a sprinkle, we're all good. But it was really rainy the last couple weeks. And if you missed it, I was home alone with my daughter because my husband is a fire captain for an inmate camp and they took the inmate uh, groups and took them down to do flood control. So he was gone for two weeks. And so I was home alone a lot in the rain, stuck at home and it was boring and sad. So <laughs> I'm really glad <laughs> that it is um, sunny out there. I feel like I need to add more blush. I gotta figure out the order if I'm gonna use liquid blush. Like, do I put that on after the bronzer? Cause it, see, I just kind of covered it. But I liked that color. Okay, ignore that that looks weird. I'm gonna go downstairs cause I'm up in my bathroom. All my makeup's downstairs besides what I brought. I'm gonna go get a different blush to put back on. Anyway, you know how I said I went to MAC? So I got my four free lipsticks. I got Modesty, which is always a favorite. That's one of my favorite colors. Mare, which is a great matte pink. Angel, which is a, a throwback. Like Angel, I think, or Cream Cup was one of my first MAC lipsticks. They're kind of the same, like a frosty pink. And then I got Peach Blossom. I think I'm gonna use this right now. Oh yeah, isn't that pretty in spring? 
spring like that was boldly bare liner perfect combo okay third thing i'm grateful for is the cleaning ladies look at my clean beautiful bathtub back there we started having cleaning ladies come to our home i don't know what to call them because cleaners i always call them the because i tell danny the ladies are coming tomorrow to clean so that's why i call them cleaning ladies we started having them come when i was about six, seven months pregnant because we have a two-story house, three dogs, and hardwood floors, and it was just so hard to keep up on the floors. Where is my brush I wanna use for this? Here it is, so I got this little eyeshadow brush I'm gonna to try to use for a liner situation. This is from Laura Mercier, and it's like a glittery eyeshadow stick. Glittery, I don't know why I did that. It's called Metallic Taupe. Anyways, I am very capable of cleaning, so I felt so weird at first, but what my issue was, was I was pregnant, tired. See, so I'm gonna kind of blend this pretty shimmer with the brown. I think I'll stamp an eyeshadow color. Can you see, is it focused? I think I'll stamp an eyeshadow color in between the two, so let's see. Anyways, I felt like when I was cleaning, it was taking me so long to get, you know, I'd get tired. So I'd like get the downstairs done and then I'd come upstairs to work on the upstairs a couple days later. And by the time I finished that, then the downstairs needed it again. And I just felt like I was constantly cleaning, hard to carry the vacuum up the stairs. I was just so tired and gaining weight and pregnant, you know? So anyway, after I have it, I can't give it up. I am so spoiled now. But the great thing is, it's clean all at once. They come twice a month, so every other week. And it's so awesome because she brings two to three people with her. Or, you know, so there's a total of two to three people with her. And so they clean my entire home. I don't have them clean all the bedrooms, but they clean the bathrooms, the kitchen, the main areas in two to three hours. And it's done. The entire home. So, you guys, I'm so grateful for them. If you can afford to put it in your budget, which you can. The secret, you can afford it. I'm gonna be so annoying now, always saying manifesting things to you. But I would give up everything else before them. I would give up so many things and keep the help with the house because it makes me feel like that. When they leave my home and I look around and see everything clean, I go and it just feels so nice. It just feels like a huge, huge task lifted off my shoulders because I'm constantly, I mean, you know what I thought was funny too? When my camera died, I saw food all over me when I was downstairs doing my eyebrows while my camera was cooling off and I thought, see, <laughs> I gave G a breakfast bar and I picked her up to take her inside to daycare and she wiped her mouth on me and I thought it was so funny because just last video I said, if I'm going somewhere actually where I want to look cute, I don't get dressed because it's inevitable she gets food on me, but it's inevitable she gets food all over the house. There's little sticky fingerprints everywhere. So I'm, I feel like I'm still, even with the help, constantly cleaning. And my husband's a cleaner. He helps me so much. He's not one of those husbands that doesn't clean. So that's the third thing I'm grateful for. I'm so grateful for them. Okay, now I'm gonna take a semi-clean ingle brush and I'm gonna use this, should I use the gold? I'm gonna use the gold. I was gonna use that one. What's this, Honey Lust? It's called Parade of Copper. I think it's like a color that's only in this. But it's very similar to Honey Lust from MAC. And I'm gonna stamp that in between kind of as a gradient to marry the two colors together. Does not have to be perfect, but that's kind of cool, huh? A little gradient liner. The next thing I wanted to talk about was, I hope that doesn't seem like I'm giving a speech, like I have an outline, but you can tell if you've gotten this far in the video, I get sidetracked, so it's more to keep me on task. We are going to the coast next week for a vacation next weekend. It's like three or four days, I think. It's with my husband's family and we do it. It's Crescent City up north, north very Northern California. And we usually do it in July and we're doing it in April this year. I can't remember why. I think it was just a little bit cheaper. But last year when we went, Golden was not even crawling. Yes, she was. July, she had just started crawling in June. So this year, my little baby girl is running. Walking, running. I thought, I'm gonna mention that on my makeup chat Monday. I'll only have a couple days before we leave by the time this video goes up to read the comments. But if there's any absolute like, kid beach necessities you think I need, please tell me. I got her little water, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be like 50s. I got her water shoes, I got a little kind of like easy up tent 
thing for her to hang out in to kind of block the wind and the cold from. I thought I'll throw some blankets in there and she can sit and eat a snack, but I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a lot different this year for her because she's so much more active. So we'll see. And she has so many little cousins, it's gonna be fun. Now the car ride on the other hand, we'll see how, how that goes. She's not as into car rides as she used to be long car rides because obviously she just wants to move. Surprise, my camera died again. Or got too hot. If you hear any music in the background, I've had Jazz for Pets. It's a playlist on Amazon <laughs> on for my dogs downstairs and I keep hearing it. I also hear like a truck backing up. All these sounds outside, it's spring. Everyone's moving around. I ran downstairs and got blush and I went with this orangey peachy one. It's called Luster from NARS to keep our glowy bronzy vibe. I really like that Rare Beauty liquid blush. I just need to figure out the order I wanna put it in on, put it on in because I kept covering it up, I thought. I'm gonna do one more coat of mascara. I'm back to using this drugstore one. I was playing with the MAC ones and I do love the extended play that I get, the little blue bottle, but this is the best drugstore mascara. I love it so much. At least it's the best one lately that I've been into. There's so many good ones. Of course, I'm going to pop on some hourglass powder. The last thing I was gonna tell you guys about is just how exciting and grateful, more gratefulness I am for wedding season starting. I do makeup for my job and I looked at my books besides the coast trip, I think I'm doing makeup. I just did makeup Saturday and Sunday last weekend. I think I'm doing makeup for the next eight weeks or something without a break on the weekend besides the coast trip. So that's just so exciting. It makes me so happy that I get paid to do makeup. It's wild actually. Oh, we gotta dust off, I forgot my baking powder back here. Okay, last thing besides setting this I'm gonna put on is this Whitney Houston highlighter from MAC. When I went in to get the lipsticks, I saw this and it was 40% off and it's very, very pretty. The champagne gold, it is deeper. So for my fair skin, I'm gonna put it on, just why not? But I think it actually, you know what? Let's put it on our eyes. Cause I was gonna say, that's why I bought it. I was looking at it thinking that would be so pretty just as a topper kind of. And just in the middle. Actually, let's pull it all the way in. Oh, did I just cover up the fact that I have cool liner though? I did a little bit, that's okay. Don't do this if you want your liner to pop because now it kind of looks like eyeshadow. Okay, let's put it on our skin. Whew, that is gorgeous. Okay, Morphe setting mist. I went a little overboard there, but it felt right. I hope you love this Monday makeup chat. Don't forget to leave what you're grateful for down below. I just think that would be so fun to go look at the comments and see all these great things that everyone's grateful for. Cheesy or not, I think it'd be good. Also, if you haven't seen my Honey Love, I know navy blue does not match me right now, but I just threw this on to take my daughter to daycare. If you haven't seen my Honey Love tank top video, I will link it below. I'm obsessed with these tank tops. I'm telling all my girlfriends about them, so I wanna tell you, and yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you before next Monday, probably in another video, but I'll definitely see you next Monday, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week, and thank you again so much for watching. <laughs>